Well, today we are discussing Marco Asensio update, contract situation with Real Madrid. Is he leaving? Is he staying? That's one of the things we need to discuss and we let known to you the viewers of Rokani Media Football. Welcome to this channel. Good afternoon. It's a Saturday. We are having games later in the evening, but we've started off like this. Welcome to the Rokani Media Welcome to the Rokani Media Football Channel and this is the Football News Show and we are talking so you know so you very well he has already agreed a deal with Atletico Madrid and we have an update concerning that deal then there is another one known as Joshua Kimmich Barcelona is really all after this man known as Joshua Kimmich and even the manager of Barcelona has found himself into an interview discussing Joshua Kimmich and how much he loves the player to come on and play for the side of Barcelona. Remember Sergio Busquets just put his shoes down at Barcelona and he's thinking of his next move. Now, Fabricio Romano has gone ahead and really told us the following about Marco Asensio. He has told us that Marco Asensio's priority has always been to extend the contract and stay at Real Madrid. There is interest from English and Italian clubs on free move, but he hopes to stay. Talks of a new deal are progressing. It's not done yet, but discussions will continue. Now, we all know that Marco Asensio has always wanted to stay at Real Madrid, but the problem is one. Real Madrid have always gone ahead <coughs> not to respect his financial demands that's it he calls in for a huge salary of close to two hundred thousand pounds a week that is macasensio and real madrid are really telling him you're not offering you that amount of money it has taken now a second year in a row when madrid is offering a contract that doesn't match up to you to the demands or the financial demands of Marcasensio and this really raised a lot of dust especially in the summer of last year and in the general transfer window that maybe Madrid would find it okay to sell the player to <clears throat> a team that could offer him like 25 or 30 million euros but right now I think it's really going to be a tricky situation amidst Marcasensio wanting to stay he's like 26 years of years 27 years of age this might be his last big contract in his career so he would love madrid to offer him a lot of money and there are teams in the premier league italian serie a that are really willing to offer him that amount of money and a huge sign-on fee so that leaves him into what we call a rock and a hard place because all what he wants is money he has won it all at real madrid that's it but he has not found himself in a position of really putting in the money that he deserves and i think his agent will never 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 advise him to stay at a side to stay at a side known as real madrid for they are not going to go ahead and really get him the money that that he wants because premier a premier league club like aston villa can offer him more than real madrid and uh he might make a decision to come to the premier league because it's really great but there are some other teams like Arsenal and Liverpool that have gonna hate to show interest in this player and I think the untalked the untalked about team that could come in through and obviously convince Marcus Sensio to join them is Newcastle Newcastle is one win away from qualifying for the Champions League since 2002 2003 now if they qualify for the Champions League I think They'll need a player like Makasensio off the right attacking side of the midfield. I understand Miguel Ameron is really a very good player, but when did he last score a goal for Newcastle? I think it has taken long, and I remember the first 10 games of the league when he scored in 10 consecutive league games. And ever since then, he has not found himself onto the position of really scoring those goals. I and mean, we look at Marcasensio, he has gotten all the Champions League experience that most players at Newcastle don't have. So even Newcastle might come in through and obviously lodge what we call a very huge offer to Marcasensio that can see him really getting out of Real Madrid. And Marcasensio is not a start at Real Madrid. and They're not willing to start him. They're even willing to get another centre forward, Judy Bellinger, meaning that his chances of starting are really narrowing every day that really passes by. So let's wait and see how everything is going to happen between Marco Asensio and <clears throat> Real Madrid with other teams that are really in need of signing him as a free agent this summer that is opening up on the 1st of June. Now, leaving that at that, 
there is a story that came in from FC Barcelona and uh, it's known as Barcelona Jura RS1. They're the ones that first reported this story about Joshua Kimmich, that Joshua Kimmich is now Barcelona's number one choice to replace Sergio Busquets. That's it. Now, <clears throat> as I was still contemplating on this story, then Fabricio Romano came out and broke the ice about Joshua Kimmich to Barcelona. He said it's true that Barcelona, like many others, it's true that Barcelona, like many others, loves Joshua Kimmich. Xavi considers him to be a top player, but Bernie's position as of today is that they don't want to negotiate with any club for him. That is the situation of Joshua Kimmich. But Joshua Kimmich is really a very flexible player, versatile, to really make it precise. He has found himself in a situation of really playing as a central defensive midfield, he can play as a right back, he can play in other several positions of the pitch, and Barcelona are really hunting in for a player who can play into the central defensive midfield to come in through and obviously do the job of do the job of Sergio Busquets. Remember Sergio Busquets was ushered into that role by Pep Guardiola from 2008 until now. <clears throat> He's a player that is going to hate to really play that position very, very well to make sure that even Barcelona are really looking for replacements. And Joshua Kimmich is one of those. But the big question is, even if Joshua Kimmich wants to come to, wants to, come to Barcelona, can Barcelona really finance the transfer of Joshua Kimmich to Barcelona? That is the huge question that everyone is really asking himself about because Joshua Kimmich is a very good player. And... Um, Bayern have found themselves in a position of not wanting to let such quality German players go, but I think it's going to depend on to Joshua Kimmich and his agents because because they are offers that come to your table and they had to resist it. And I know when you look at Joshua Kimmich, he might find himself in a position of being fed up to play into what we call the Farmers League. With his contract ending in 2025, that means other two years to come from now, I think Barcelona might be going already deep in his brain and he would love to find himself out. So let's wait and see how the development really coming through of Joshua Kimmich to Barcelona because if he really wants a move away from Bayern Munich, I made this him being the captain, then he won't really put pen to paper on a new contract that Bayern Munich are planning to offer to the player. And the best thing to see to it that Barcelona, to see to it that Bayern can get like 100 million euros out of him is to sell him when he still has two years left on his contract. If he runs down next season and he doesn't put pen to paper, that will really leave him in a situation of really having one year left on his contract and he's just 28 years of age meaning that he might want to go ahead and really make some huge adventure outside the Bundesliga and with Barcelona knocking on the door obviously never say never when Barcelona knocks on the door like that now Fabrizio Romano is also gonna hate to really issue us an update on Soyuncu so that that Soyuncu will be unveiled as a new Atletico Madrid player in the next weeks after the end of the season. Dutchmans are 100% signed as reported weeks ago. Contract will be valid until 2027. And it shows you how teams like Atletico Madrid, who are really elite when it comes to recruiting players, go on and really do their business early enough. They've already got in Soyuncu, that is Atletico Madrid, and they're planning to get in more. And uh, it shows you that they've gone ahead to elevate their level of really recruiting players into their mix. But Soyuncu to me is a very good defender. I support Manchester United, and I said if Atoli had bought maybe Soyuncu at that amount of money bought Harry Maguire, I think would have gone ahead to offer more than Harry Maguire, but Harry Maguire has gone ahead to offer nothing to the club of Manchester United to an extent that they are fed up of him and he has fallen into the pecking order of Eric Ten Hag and he is wanted out of the club. So guys, your thoughts on to Marco Asensio contract situation at Real Madrid are welcome in the comment section below. Joshua Kimmich to Barcelona. Barcelona showing all sorts of interest into this player that is 28 years of age that everyone would have admired to have him at his team. I think Joshua Kimmich is one of those players that literally plays in every team. 
Man City, Manchester United, Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Tottenham Hotspur, PSG, Barcelona, Real Madrid because he's that quality above the ordinary. And so Yunchu being being prepared to be unveiled as a player of Atletico Madrid, all that into the comment section below. Rock and David remains my name. And I sign out for now. See you later. I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I'm out, my lovely mates. Bye bye.